Hi, in this video we will see how to verify the Venin's theorem. I am not going into the theoretical details related to the verification of the Venin's theorem, but we will just see how to verify the Venin's theorem practically with a step by step. This is the circuit which we are using to verify the Venin's theorem. In this circuit, I want to find the current through the resistance of 100 ohm. Hence, we can call 100 ohm resistor as a load resistor and the terminal across which it is connected as a load terminals. This experiment involves uh, three steps. One is the measurement of uh, VTH, measurement of RTH and the measurement of uh, load current. First one is measurement of uh, VTH. In order to measure the VTH, we need to open circuit the terminals to which the load resistor is connected and connect the voltmeter across that open circuit terminals in order to find the Thevenin's voltage. The second step is to find the RTH which is the Thevenin resistance. In order to find the Thevenin resistance, again we need to open circuit the terminals across which the load resistor is connected and across those terminals we need to connect a ohm meter to measure the resistance. But here the source is replaced with a short circuit means we need to connect with a small wire. When we are finding RTH we need to replace every source with its internal resistance as the source is an ideal voltage source the internal resistance is zero hence we are replacing it with a short circuit. The third and the last step is the determination of uh, load current. But we want to find the load current, we need to connect the ammeter in series with the load resistor. Load resistor is one uh, through which we want to find the current uh, using uh, Thevenin's theorem. For measuring VTH, RTH as well as the load current, we will use a single, multi, single multimeter uh, operated in various modes. As a starting step of the experiment, we need to set a voltage of uh, 10 volts. After setting a 10 volts, uh, we need to energize the circuit by connecting the source terminals to the circuit. And uh, here we can see that the 100 ohm resistor is a load resistor. In order to find uh, V Thevenin's or uh, Thevenin's voltage, we need to remove this uh, resistor. So I am removing this resistor and across the terminals of the resistor 100 ohms we need to measure the VTH which we got as a 3.12. After measuring VTH now I want to measure RTH. In order to measure RTH each and every source is replaced with its internal resistance. As the source is an ideal voltage source we need to replace it with the internal resistance which is a zero hence I am connecting it with a wire. So I am short circuiting the voltage source and when you are finding the resistance with uh, multimeter we need to keep the multimeter in uh, resistance mode and uh, the terminals of the multimeter are connected across the terminals of load resistance. So we got the RTH value as a 313 ohms. And the third step in the verification of the Thevenin's theorem is to measure uh, load current. So we need to connect the circuit uh, as it is and uh, uh, the multimeter is uh, used to measure the current here. So we need to keep the multimeter in uh, current mode and in order to find the current through the load resistor we need to break the circuit of load resistor and connect the ammeter in series to the load resistor. So once you connect the ammeter in series to the load resistor, we will get the actual load current which is 7.5 milliamperes. In this way we can measure load current 